So what did I learn after using the leaf razor now exclusively for two weeks? Well, I'm gonna share that with you now. So I'm gonna break this video down into two sections. One, why would you want this razor? And the second part, and you can guess it, why you may want to avoid this razor. So let's start off with why you would want this razor. Number one, the quality. The build quality is there. This thing is solid, it's well made, and it's just wonderfully done. It's also balanced, and it just, it feels, even though it's heavier, it doesn't feel like it's hard to hold and to use. This is also environmentally friendly, okay? Because there's no plastic in this. There's a big debate about plastics and how, you know, they all end up in the ocean, but there's zero plastic with this razor. It is all metal. Replacement blades. These single edge razor blades, when you buy them in bulk and get them on Amazon or wherever you want to, they are cheap. Another great thing about this is not, they don't use any proprietary blades. So you can use any type of single edge razor blade in here if you want. They're not picky. A bonus little feature about this is because of its design, you have multiple ways of storing this, especially like if you're keeping it in the shower. You, you can either hook it, in more than one way, which is kind of cool. You can also get this stand that they have. It's available on their website. So let's talk about why you may not want this razor. First and foremost, let's address the first thing right off the bat. Even at the time of this video, this is not cheap. You're gonna eat a lot of cost up front and it can kind of be a risk considering you may not even like it. A major, I don't wanna call it a drag, but something to consider is replacing the blades on this is not as simple as we're accustomed to. It takes time, it takes carefulness, to say the least. These blades are sharp. You can cut yourself very, very easily. The other thing that I wanna lead right into with changing the blades is the fact that you're gonna kinda of need to change them somewhat regularly for two reasons. One, they get gummed up and dirty fairly easily, especially if you're using shave oil, but also they, because it's all metal, it's gonna start to rust on you. That's nothing new, right? It's just something to consider. Rusty, sharp blades, gotta pay attention, gotta be careful. This is not a unclip, clip on replacement. There are steps involved. You're unscrewing the back, you're flipping up all the parts, you've got work to do. Something else to consider is there is no precision trimmer on this. If you are using a razor blade shape to actually trim up around a beard line behind the ear, you don't have that with this. It's a three blade system. However, what I have found is if you fold the earlobe down, you can actually get around the ear. But as far as needing a precision trim, not available, sorry. So what are my final thoughts on this razor? I think it's a buy if you have the money for it, because if you can invest the money up front and the way you can get other blades that actually fit on this, this quite possibly may be the last razor you need to buy.